So the cogs start to turn. Yeah, it's not opened up as a big split at all. You make a case for reds here. You don't need to do too much because all the reds go without any movement, without any cannons. And then you've got the double on the eight ball, but he also could play a cannon on the eight ball and try and break it out. 15 seconds a shot now as well for this section of the match. Which will help Gary Clark, who needs to rattle off quick frames. It hinders a tricky frame like this. You have not got long to figure it out. Fortunately for Chris Melling, he's probably got the quickest brain in the game. I think you can argue until the cows come home as to who the player is with the with the best or the most perfect or the more pristine patterns. But I don't think there's anyone who sees them quicker. No, a great shot as well there. Wow. Well, if you can't see the one to the bottom left-hand corner, it's just a little awkward now. Only a little. Yeah, that is perfect. He's got just enough angle to screw back, I think, to get on the red on the cushion. Oh, how'd you hit that gap? I'm not sure if he needed to play the cannon into the eight ball, but he has uh, completely missed it, meaning he's snookered. So three minutes left here. Keep the cue chalked, Gary. I know Chris is a magician, but there'll be some shot here to continue this visit. Oh, what an effort. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my goodness me. The magician pulls one of his biggest rabbits out of his hat that he's ever pulled.